Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will paint a black ferrari. The canvas has been previously toned grey and the line work of the car is done. We begin by painting the sky blue and then while it is wet we lightly paint some clouds and smudge them. I lightly go over them with a fan brush for this. Right underneath will be the sea, inspired on the French Riviera, so we add a more intense blue. The lower part of it will be lighter, so we add more white to the mix. Like so, and blend it in. And right underneath there will be some green hills and the road. We add different tones of greens and brown to these plants and a little lighter version to these ones further away. And now let's hit the road. <laughs> it will be made of different tones of grey. And since we want the car to look in motion, it is important to make the strokes in the direction of the movement. We add a cast shadow. As you see, I have been painting what is further away first, what is in the back, and then I have been coming forward to what is closer and closer. And what is on top of everything else is the car, so I leave that one for last. You don't need to follow this approach necessarily, but I find it helpful and I recommend it, to paint what is on top last. And now the next step is to add the blacks, the blacks of the car. Well, actually, the whole car will be black. <laughs> but what I mean is that try right now I paint what it will stay black, the darkest, because most of the car surface will be reflective in some way and so will be a bit lighter or a lot lighter in some cases. This is a Ferrari 488, by the way. I'm using a very small brush and with this let's add some curving reflections, like so. And now that we have the blacks in place, let's add the whites, the lighter of the reflections. In this way we will have the darkest and the lightest and everything else will be in between. Obviously most of the white reflections will be facing up, facing toward the sun. Good. Now let's begin adding some of the grey in between. There can be many degrees of grey. It is a little bit tricky, I have to say, to paint a black car, because one would tend to want to paint everything black, <laughs> but it would look pretty flat. Uh, you need to think of the reflections and of the different tones created. Let's add some white by the black for contrast. It will be pretty dark here. We will do the glass, the windows, also with these colors. The complete list of materials, as always, is in the information below the video. I love drawing and painting supercars, sport cars. That is definitely one of my guilty passions. <laughs> and I know for this painting the drawing was already done. But if you want to learn to draw cars, I have a whole playlist of videos that teach you how to draw them. I will link to that list at the end of this video. We painted the wheels and now the tail lights. It is very important when painting the wheels and the tires that if the car is in motion, you don't do them in detail, like with the spikes of the wheel. It is more like you only see a blurry reflection. That shows the speed and I darken a little more some of the spots. Also to help with the illusion of the speed, I may pull back some little threads of paint, as if a slight glare was left behind the car. Very good! It's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends, and subscribe to Fine Art Tips, and I will see you on Tuesday.